If there's one thing you can count on with any comic book superhero game, it's that they're going to be full of all sorts of easter eggs and references with fun and clever nods to heroes and villains that didn't make it into the game proper, comic book history, and more. Spider-Man 2 is no different. So let's comb through the streets of New York to find some of our favorite Spider-Man 2 easter eggs. One of the coolest parts of the main campaign is when Peter, Harry, and MJ all get to hang out and explore Coney Island together. But did you catch all the cheeky references that almost every attraction contains? The octopus in the octopus ride has a head mirror on its head indicating that he's a doctor, a clear nod to Dr. Octopus. The roller coaster is called the Speed Demon, referring to a Marvel villain of the same name. The arcade belongs to a Kadensky, or more like A.R. Kadensky. The whack-a-mole game is called Hydra Head Splitters, referring to the villainous group Hydra. Dazzler's stage is a nod to the hero Dazzler. The Flying Mantis ride, of course, refers to Mantis from Guardians of the Galaxy. The Ferris wheel called Big Wheel might not seem like anything, but there is in fact a villain named Jackson Wheel who rode in a wheel called Big Wheel. Rocket Racer is the name of this guy, a former common criminal turned costume villain, eventually turned good guy. Overdrive refers to this guy. Time Twisters, these weirdos. King Crab's Water World refers to one of Namor's defenders called King Crab. Hydro Bench is not the Hydro Man. Mysterium could either just be a play on Mysterio, but it also could be one of several other things in the Marvel Universe, from a lesser known villain to Doc Savage, to a type of metal. There's probably more, and you can check the full list of all the ones that we spotted in a slideshow on IGN.com. There's a touching tribute to Chadwick Boseman in the form of the Wakandan Embassy, located right here in Midtown. By heading to the front door of the Embassy as Miles and pressing Triangle, you'll do the Wakandan salute. Very cool. Even cooler if you do it in Miles' Black Panther suit. The Fantastic Four don't appear in Spider-Man 2, but their presence can be felt by heading to the southwestern tip of Central Park to find the Baxter Building. This is, of course, the HQ of the Four, and you can even go to the top of the building to find their logo being freshly painted. Worth noting, this used to be one of Fisk's buildings in the original game, as it's in the exact same location. So basically, the Fantastic Four have taken it over from Kingpin and repurposed it perhaps maybe a tease of what's to come. What is certainly a tease of what's to come is the Wolverine suit that Miles can unlock at level 52. Wolverine is of course the next currently announced game from Insomniac Studios, the developers of Spider-Man 2, and while it's a little disappointing that we don't get a true Wolverine cameo, this is still pretty cool. The suit's name is Best There Is, which is a reference to one of Wolverine's famous comic book lines, I'm the best there is at what I do, but what I do isn't very nice. Heck, it's a comic series too. The home of Doctor Strange actually plays a key role in what is, hands down, one of the best quests in Spider-Man 2 called Make Your Own Choices. It's one that you should really experience for yourself, but if you just want to stop by and visit the Sanctum Sanctorum, you can find it by heading to Greenwich and traveling right here. Damage Control is a construction group in the comics that specializes in fixing up the damage caused by the battles between superheroes and supervillains. Naturally, they're the ones cleaning up the mess left by Sandman after the opening of the game. You can spot their signs all over the places where construction is being done. If there's one thing that the previous easter egg shows, it's that Spider-Man 2's version of New York City is made to feel like a lived-in place where events of the story have lasting consequences to the city. This goes beyond just events from Spider-Man 2 though. You can also see the fallout from the events of the Miles Morales game. You can find Miles and Finn's science trophy atop the Trinity Church in Lower Manhattan. Doing my best, Finn. Trying to make a city we'd both be proud of. In addition to the destroyed Roxxon Tower, the ruins of which are located in the northern tip of Manhattan. On a somber and spoilery note to those who have never finished Miles Morales, you can also find the graves of Finn and Rick Mason in the cemetery of Harlem at the southern edge. And to round it out on a happy note, you can also find the freshly completed Spider-Man mural next to Miles' apartment in Harlem. Lockjaw is not only one of the most irritating cards to deal with in Marvel Snap, he's also a notable Marvel character and part of the Inhumans. And if you'd like to see a statue that celebrates the large pup, you can find it just north of Battery Park in Manhattan. Excelsior! Stan Lee may no longer be with us, but his spirit will forever live on not only in the comics and characters he's created, the many movies he's cameoed in, Security ought to be beefed up a lot more in a place like this. You can't... But also in Spider-Man 2. Head to the Upper West Side District, across from the center of Central Park, to find this statue. 
A fun little easter egg that's exclusive to Peter Parker is his ability to pull out and solve a Rubik's Cube while dive bombing through the air. To do it, make sure you get someplace really high. Then dive bomb off the edge, and while falling, hold square and pull back on the left stick. He can actually solve it if you hold it down long enough, just remember to swing before you hit the ground, because otherwise, well, it's gonna be real bad for Peter. In the first Spider-Man game and Miles Morales, you could find the Nelson and Murdoch law firm in Hell's Kitchen on West 44th Street. The building is still there, but notably, the plaque on the building is not. What could this mean? We asked senior creative director at Insomniac, Brian Intahar, about this, and just check his response. That's a good question. Um, stay tuned. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see about the significance of this. While most of the manhole covers in Spider-Man 2 are nondescript, there is one moment during the main campaign where eagle-eyed players may spot a little Insomniac Games easter egg during the mission It Chose You, when Peter lifts up a manhole cover to enter the sewers. Occasionally, when you're busting up thugs and stopping crimes, the other Spider-Man will join in on the fun. After the action settles, you'll be able to do some sort of interaction with them by pressing the triangle button when prompted. Sometimes it's an awkward hug, a high five, but the best result is when they reenact that classic meme of the two Spider-Men pointing at each other in disbelief. Shout out to our friends at Kinda Funny, as this Easter egg is all about them. Located in the northern part of the Upper West Side, you'll find two shirtless men in Spider-Man masks that you can take a picture of as part of Robbie's photo op side quest. Shirtless Spider-Man is of course the creation of Greg Miller, who petitioned successfully for its inclusion in the original game. And now he's back with fellow shirtless Spider-Person, Blessing Adioye Jr. If you're like me and you love Nathan Fillion and Alan Tudyk, you might want to make a stop by Northern Lower Odessa, right around here, and park yourself in front of these two Bodega Cat mascots. They're actually voiced by Nathan and Alan, and have around 7 minutes of banter that you can gleefully listen to. We've got a video up on IGN if you'd like to watch it in full. Okay, this last one is less of an easter egg and more of a really cool extra detail on one of the suits, but we're counting it anyway. Miles' Into the Spider-Verse SB suit has a pretty specific tag behind the cape that refers to a line from the Into the Spider-Verse movie that you'll only be able to see if you're able to go into photo mode while the cape is fluttering. It says, It always fits, eventually. Which is what Stan Lee says to Miles in the movie as Miles is buying the costume. Can I return it if it doesn't fit? It always fits. Eventually. And those are some of our favorite easter eggs that we found in Spider-Man 2. What are some of your favorites? Let us know in the comments, and also make sure to check out some of our other Spider-Man 2 related videos. And for everything else, keep it here on IGN.